in four Americans is infected with a contagious disease known as genital herpes. But what is herpes anyway? There are actually two strains of the herpes simplex virus, HSV-1 and HSV-2. While HSV-1 tends to lead to sores on the mouth and HSV-2 usually presents itself on the genitals, either strain can lead to either outbreak. That's because HSV-1 and HSV-2 are markedly similar, so a cold sore on the mouth can easily be spread to the genitals during oral sex and vice versa. Then if the population is infected with oral herpes, and most of these contract the viruses to include touching, kissing, or sexual acts. The briefest of skin-to-skin -skin contact can transmit herpes. Sometimes herpes has no symptoms, which is why up to a third of people with the virus remain undiagnosed. Remember that just because someone says they've never had a lesion doesn't mean they can't spread herpes. People with genital herpes who do exhibit symptoms often notice small sores on the genitals, usually in a cluster. Other times, symptoms can be as subtle as mild irritation. In an oral herpes outbreak, a cold sore or fever blister will show up on the lips or around the mouth in a similar fashion. Some people also experience flu-like symptoms such as fever, aches and pains, or a headache. Regardless of the location, a herpes outbreak tends to start with red, tingly skin. In a day or two, sores will appear, although most outbreaks will clear in one to two. An outbreak can be triggered by factors such as illness, stress,